Good morning everyone, welcome back to another European theme park. Today we are checking out Haida Park here in Northern Germany. I will be honest, I don't know too much about this park. I know it's operated and owned by Merlin Entertainment. These are the same people that own all the Legoland parks, they do Alton Towers in the UK, Thor Park, but I don't know a whole lot about Haida Park. I know they have uh, nine roller coasters. Eight will be operating today. I think Big Loop, the Aero Looper, I, it might be of a coma. I think it's an Aero is closed, but I don't mind too much because I hear it's a pile of trash. Everything else is open and the park looks really beautiful and they have some quality rides I'm excited to do, particularly Colossus, which is an Intamin prefabricated wooden roller coaster, one of four in the world. So let's head in the park. I don't know where we're gonna be going first. I really don't know anything about the layout or the park itself, so. We're just gonna run into any coaster and ride it, I guess. So enjoy the video from Haida Park here in Germany. <laughs> Whoa! That is cool. <laughs> So we just got off of our first roller coaster here at Heide Park. We did Crake. Well, the presentation atmosphere and everything around the ride was absolutely excellent and probably the best of any dive coaster I've done. The layout was very, very minimal. It has a drop, Emmelman, and then Airtimeless Hill, and that's it. So it's definitely my least favorite dive coaster and not a very special ride, but I do love how it looks, so that's good for something. All right, I just took a ride on Bobbin and that was much better than I expected because here's the thing, there's not many bobsled coasters out there and all the ones I've ridden are pretty tame. I was expecting a relatively generic bobsled coaster, although I was just glad to see it operating because they're very few and far between. However, it actually packed some power into it. It had, a, it kept its speed quite well and it was relatively intense. I think I had a little mini gray out at one point. My favorite part, there was this double helix in the darkness that was really cool. I wouldn't say it's my all time favorite bobsled coaster. I would still give that to Flying Turns at Knobles because it's so smooth and so unique. However, if we're talking steel bobsled coasters, that is my favorite one I've done. Not that I've really done too many. I think I've actually only done two, but still that was like really enjoyable and I'm really glad to have done that. I may even prefer it to Crake, the dive coaster we did earlier, which is saying something. You know when a mock bobsled is better than a B&M dive? I mean, damn. So, hey, not bad. All right, we got off of our first truly fun, awesome coaster here at Haida Park. This is Flug der Demonen, which translates to Flight of the Demons in English. That was really fun. So this is a winged coaster by Bollinger and Mabillard. It has a really fun layout with five inversions. I really enjoyed the demonic knot. It's a one of a kind inversion. It's almost like a like a dive loop on its side and then an Immelman on its side, all in one element. It's really weird. It's like two inversions, one element. The rest of the layout was fun. I, I liked the uh, drop at the beginning. The wing over drops are always fun. And then you go through a tunnel, which has a really cool like like screech sound effect. It just has some really good speed. That one speed hill is really fun. Good airtime there. It's a great layout. It's actually more terrain driven than I expected. It was a really fun ride. What'd you think? <laughs> so like most really of the friend. turns were left-hand turns. Yeah. And that means you want to be on the right side where it goes quicker because they're left-hand turns. Whippier, Sean, whippier. Uh, whip, I, I whippier. Teach him, I have to teach him enthusiast terms, guys. Whippier. Whippier. More dramatic. Yes. You're, you're taking lefts. The bar is great, let's do it again. Dump the content.
just got two rides on Colossus Kempter Giganten. It was awesome. So we started with a very front row ride, then did second to front. We're gonna go back around and do back row before we leave as well. But just those two rides alone, it was an excellent ride. The first half is what made the experience for me. The first half is amazing, guys. Sustained ejector airtime on each of the camelbacks, and the drop is really fun too. The view at the top is awesome but then as you go along the layout the ride does die out a little bit you have the speed hill that doesn't do too much you have a helix that's pretty drawn out and then the last few camelbacks are good but not great i think it might be a back row ride we'll see i also love that they built that wicker man with the fire shooting out of it that is such a cool thematic element so yeah really glad to have done that and it's definitely going to be the best coaster in the park because the only really major one that we have left is desert race and i cannot see desert race beating this so we'll see but for now really pleased to have done that and let's move on Just got off of Desert Race, the park's only launch coaster. The hydraulic launch at the start of the ride is fantastic. It's really good, but then the ride just kind of dwindles out and really, really is not anything special. The turns are pretty drawn out, so the forces aren't too great. The airtime's pretty weak. I really like the launch, but then the rest is just mediocre at best. But because the launch was so good, it's still my third favorite in the park after the wing coaster and Colossus. Um, so what do you think of that launch coaster? The launch was fantastic. The first couple of turns were glorious. It stops you at the weirdest place possible. I forgot to mention that the trim is the most anticlimactic thing ever. So like two turns before the break. So you still have like a decent little bit to go. It just completely saps all the speed. And you're just going at like two miles per hour. A little longer and a little more theming and it would have been my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, like the launch was so, so good. And then the rest was just kind of like fine. So, I mean, it was, it was good. I'm glad I've done it, but not my favorite thing in the world. And definitely one of the weaker Intamin launch coasters, if not the weakest Intamin launch coaster I've been on. One of my favorite things about this park, Kaida Park, is that it's situated right around this giant body of water. And it's really cool because there's no fencing or anything preventing you from like jumping in and swimming really. But yeah, it's just really cool. It's a very unobstructed thing and you get great views of all the coasters. You're right on the water. It's really, really neat. I think it would be a criminal offense not to do these slides. This is never in American parks. This has to happen. What is this? Okay, literally the views up here are amazing. Okay, Sean's going down the spiral. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's dead. Oh my God, it's so claustrophobic, fuck. Oh. oh my God. Okay, slide number two. This one is like ridiculously steep. Oh my God, I don't have jeans on. So this is like scary as hell. Oh. by far my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> All right, so Colossus in the back is the way to go. That first half is nuts in the back. It is so, so, so good. The rest of the ride still is not very good, but that first half is so amazing that it really does make up big time for the lack of other elements. It's for that reason that I'm actually maybe going to grant that ride a top 50 spot. Originally, I think I thought it was gonna be like right outside of my top 50, but it looks like it might actually be inside my top 50 because of how good that drop in the first two camelbacks are. That drop, the reason I much prefer this in the back to the, um, the front row is because that drop literally feels amazing. It's not quite as good as El Toro, of course, but it still has quite a kick to it and I really enjoyed that about it. So definitely the best ride in the park and the absolute highlight reason to come to Haida Park. <laughs> Die Platz ist euch, dann unser Tisch. 
just finished watching an excellent show about pirates and, and it was a great way to end our stay here at Haida Park. It's the first corporate park of the trip and it certainly in many ways feels that way, but I still think they do a great job in many areas. The ride lineup's really fun. Colossus was definitely the highlight for me. It's a really pretty park around this giant body of water, but then you also have these other man-made rivers just all around, around the park and the landscaping around them is also stunning, as you can see. It's just a really pleasant experience, really fun park. Not one that I can see myself coming back to for a long time, it is pretty out there. But if you're looking to do Hansa Park and Heidi Park in the same trip in Northern Germany, it's absolutely possible to stop by this place. So certainly I'd recommend stopping by if you've never been. Heidi Park was a fun time. I think the next park we visit will be Slagharen in the Netherlands so we're actually moving from Germany to the Netherlands. We'll be back in Germany for a long portion of the trip, but for now we're stopping by the Benelux area. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So see you guys there starting tomorrow.